The recording has officially begun. Hello everyone, and welcome to Dark Souls, the board game, Ooh. where you can slay monsters, slay monsters, and die. Spooky. <laughs> yes. Very and, spooky. And the die part is a really vital part of this whole experience. You know, there's a reason that the super duper edition of the video game is called Prepare to Die Edition. <laughs> is that really what it's called? <laughs> yes, it is. That is phenomenal. I'd show you my case, but it's digital. <laughs> well, I guess what we should start off by explaining our roles. Um, roles? I am the assassin, a very sneaky assassin. And my character is this little guy. I don't know what his name is, but I'm a does. So what's his name? <laughs> he is Havel the Rock. Not Dwayne. Just Havel. Just <laughs> is, was, is his other name Dwayne? Well, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, Havel the yeah. Rock. Oh, also so, Johnson. I totally missed that joke. I'm so I'm so sorry. So I just thought it would be really funny to be the one character that's massive and have him be the, the sneaky guy. <laughs> and then, so who's your character? I am Solaire the Sunbro, only your best friend. He loves to engage in what long walks on the beach, killing dragons, and jolly cooperation. Jolly co what? <laughs> jolly cooperation. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you are you ready to start? You're also the knight, by the way. Yes, I am the knight. I am the tank. I am the big guy. All right. And I don't need that ember token. <laughs> And I think we are we are ready to begin because otherwise this intro is gonna be five minutes long. Yes. Let's do this thing. Alright, so we already went over the rules. I'm sorry. Just go watch a different video <laughs> or read the rule book. You, you never you, you never tell someone to watch another video. <laughs> you don't I always you, tell you have to you have to learn the YouTube rules. That's that's like the first no no it's not. Yeah. Okay. So we, we went over the rules. So, I am going to walk into the room, and I'm going to stand right here. Where are you standing? Um, and I ha oh, yeah, I have to be one away from the door. I'm going to stand in right there. Whoa, why am I so roly-poly? There we go. That's pretty weird. <laughs> that was oh. that was a strange one. All right, so. You know when you, like, step on a marble? I think, I feel like my whole character just did that. Yep, just fell right over. No sneaky for you. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be really sneaky. If. He's wearing all the heavy armor too, so it'd like rattle and the chains would Oops. clank against the floor. Welcome to Home Alone. <laughs> Alright, so in this room we have one crossbow hollow on the singular sword square. That's that guy. We have one sword hollow and one crossbow hollow on the two sword square. That's these guys, that's right here. Oh, they both are they both right there? Yep, they're both right there. How do you, you can rotate fit up to characters? Three characters on one node. All right, and then we need one gravestone on this tile. So, I believe that's it for setup. I, I, it is my turn to go. Solid. Begin, sir. All right. So we must get the character cards for these guys. Uh, we'll just stick them right Put them in on the, the bottom, I would say. On the bottom part? Yeah, because then we can see them a lot better. So, first goes the crossbow hollow. Now, at every turn, the monsters attack. So it's my turn right now, but the monsters get a turn in between every single player turn. So they get to go first. So that's why we die a lot. Yes, that's... <laughs> you know, monsters get first dips... <laughs> All right, so, so 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 you walked in the room first, so you're aggroed. So then you have to, so they they have to fight you first, then you you attack, then they're gonna fight me, and then I attack. Yep, that's exactly how it works. All right, you go, sir. All right, so if you look in the top left corner of this card, you'll see a big shiny number. This guy's is five. That means he's going to attack first. He's got initiative, so he's going to attempt to run after me by one node, which you can see right here. 
This is move forward one and turn if he wants. So he's trying to get so closer he, to you. Yep. He's going to run up here. He's going to try to hit me for four. So I need to use my don, my, excuse me, my defense over here by my character sheet to not get hurt. And you can see on my armor, this one blue die here is a defense die, and this black die on my shield is also a defense die. So, whatever I get on these dice, minus the monster's attack, is the damage I take. So that's four minus two, means I take two red health damage. That is not a good way to start the day. Nope, I would rather have some Wheaties. <laughs> okay, so this guy gets to go next he's going to try to move away from me as you can see on his card right here that's back one okay and, yeah. and then and then he can shoot from any any distance right yeah that's the thing here on the left that's his range okay which is infinite i actually don't know if i have a range we do right um yeah i believe your range is just zero it's defined by your weapon yeah yeah i see it it's on the top like corner yep all right so, so archer attack yep he's gonna try to shoot at me and i've got one magic defense as dictated by the black die on my armor and i'm gonna attempt to not die <laughs> you know that's always a good thing to try to oh, oh that's not well good. that's three damage that so yep. as the heavy you're <laughs> you're doing your job yeah I might have to use my Estus in like the first turn. That which would, would be that'd be rough, especially difficult. considering the next few rooms are going to be painfully difficult. Yeah. So this guy goes last. He's going to attempt to move away from me, which is right there. That's the farthest away from me he can get. And he's going to again shoot his magical damages at me. So that is three minus two, which is just one, which is amazing. That is that is solid. All right, so now it is my turn. I'm going to just attempt to whack this hollow soldier here, All right. right in front of me. And that's that's um, and that's to do and that's according to your sword and armor and character sheet and all the different little bits and pieces. Just for yes. the just for the viewer, the one guy that's watching this this far in yep. the video. Thank you, Mr. Guy. <laughs> you've done your job and you've done it well. Okay, so... Can we make a TV show called Mr. Guy? We can do our best. <laughs> we'll make What's it a puppet it show. Be about? Okay, you go ahead okay. and attack. Yeah, I'm going to just use my one blue die, which costs me zero stamina to use. And I roll a two, and that's lethal, because he's got one health as you can see in the top right, and one physical armor, as you can see right in the middle there. So he... Oh, I keep forgetting which camera's which <laughs> is which <laughs> button. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely something you write notes for. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Oh, well. They go in right. order, I just like keep forgetting that it's mm -hmm. not three, I keep accidentally hitting three. But yeah, he only has one health, so he is out for the count. Alright, so it's your turn now. You well, may have the go token. The, the monster's turn. But yeah. yeah. Okay. I so mean, I say your turn. Soldier's gonna move one away from me. Uh, I guess he can get further by going there. And then he's gonna try to hit me for how many damage? Or is it four? For three, three magic. Three magic. Because these are the ranged dudes. Okay. And then I am gonna roll a dodge because I have one dodge, right? You have two dodge dice, because you've got one on your shield and one on your armor. Solid. So I'm going to roll a dodge. Well? You can hit for three. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I took a risk, and it did not pay off. Yep. One in four, you hit it. Good job. <laughs> did, did I hit it? I haven't even attacked yet. Well, no, I mean, you got wrecked by the one in four I chance know. that you wouldn't dodge. <laughs> I know. Okay, oh, now geez. it's time okay. to do it again. Yep, here we go. I'm still going to try to dodge. Oh, I also have to put a stamina one down, down too, because I dodged. Or at least I ah, tried that to. you do. Totally forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> that, that's nice. <laughs> okay. I was really worried um, about that one. 
Yeah, so he would have actually tried to move away from you, so he would have gone here as well. Well, he was no, he was originally right there. Oh, was I he? Okay. Uh, yeah, I moved him one. My apologies. Good job. So, they both attacked, and then is it, is it my turn? Yep. You would have rolled twice, so you would get a free move for each of those. What? <laughs> when you roll, you also move one node. Oh, okay. So I roll yeah. twice, so I have two movement. Yep, and then you get one free walk if you want to go and attack him. I'm and then definitely going to go and attack him. <laughs> All right. There you go. Impeccable. <laughs> um, and then I, my attack. I have to remember how to do this all again. Two black dice, right? Yep, minus one. Or you could spend three stamina for three black die minus one. Ah, I'll just do the two. Two. Well, he is fine. He, he just doesn't do it. Nothing happens. Okay, solid. Yeah. <laughs> It's absorbed by his armor. This is a this is a very interesting start on the easiest level. Yep. All right, sir. It is your turn, or the monster's turn, I guess. Yep. Mob turn. Like they can't really get any further away from you, so. Yeah. Well, this guy's gonna try to move back. He's going to do the attack, and I'm going to do my best to not die. So I roll my magical defense. I don't know if that counts. Are we counting that? Oh, did you roll a black die instead of a blue die? No, I just... Yeah, oh, that like, counts. I count once. it. Okay. Well, I take one. I'm really starting to worry about you. <laughs> That's, you have three, three I'm damage I'm just going to re-roll if he does it, because you have one free re-roll token. Okay. So if he murderizes me, I'll do that. All right, so, All right, so are there guys going to attack you too? Way. Yep, he moves over here, because that's farther away from me. And then... I roll my black deck. Oh, that's right out of view. What is it? What'd you get? I got a one, which means I take two damage, which means I have one health left. Yeah, though you might want to use that elixir already. That's a little bit rough. No, I be Oh, wait. No, I can't do. Ooh. Because if I want to go and attack them, I get one free walk, which I'm going to use. Mm -hmm. But it takes stamina to get to get over there. And you, you can't use stamina yeah I don't know. I don't know if I want to use my Estus yet or if I want to just tank it out I'm, I'm just gonna do it all right flip my Estus token to let this so, all you, right. so you flipped your Estus and you are all healed yep you have been healed I done drink the sunny D <laughs> is that is that its street name yep it's sunny like D it's like the, the jazz cigarette, but it's for mm -hmm. magical health potions. Exactly. Hey, hey you wanna you wanna buy some Sunny D? <laughs> oh yeah. I, I do. can see some like really like trashy knight, like a knight has like really beat up rusty armor like walking up to you. And he's like making all these metal noises, he's getting up, he's like, Hey, hey. Would you like to buy some Sunny D? <laughs> Go away, Sir Jorah. <laughs> Okay, so you're healed, right. and do yep, you want so to use stamina use to get closer one, to them? One, two, three staminars <laughs> to get all of the closer, and then I'm going to use my basic attack on the left crossbow hollow. Okay, I do love the camera angles in this game. Just how you've set them up? No, just the ability that I have, I can that I can set them up. No the sadness. <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, is it though? Is it really? Yeah, you've got plenty of health left. You're fine. Right, sure. Also, I don't remember whether it starts at this phase or the next phase. I'm going to assume it's this phase. But at the beginning of your turn, you actually take two stamina die off of your thing. Or not die, blocks. Every single time? Yeah, at the start of your turn. Oh, well... That seems pretty neat. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, well, I'm gonna just go up there, and I'm going to. Well, I can't, they can't really get any. Well, they can get further away from me. Right yeah. there. They're both gonna move right there, and they're both gonna attack me for three, and so I'm gonna roll a dodge twice. All right. So let's let's do this thing.
missed one of them. <laughs> my skin All and right. my teeth, that was rough. Yeah. I, I, need, I need to not roll like that, it freaks me out too much. Alright, so you dodged once, take one stamina, dodge twice, take two stamina, and that Ooh. is it. Oh, goodness. And then I, I'm gonna just get a little bit closer there. How, so I have two movements, right? Yep. One. And then one walk if you want, but you're on top of them, so. Um, and then I'm gonna attack him. I'm sneaky. I get like right up on, in their grill before I, <laughs> I start smacking down. All right. So I know. Um, before we get too far, mm -hmm. we haven't really looked over the secret of, or the special abilities. So this one means basically that after you've made a successful dodge, which you have, you can attack the guy you dodged for free. So you could use the three stamina thing on your S-Talk for zero stamina, but it takes your pendants, your special hero move usage. And you only get to use that once per stage, right? Um, once per reset of enemies. Uh, what, is that, what does that mean, reset of enemies? Well, basically, in Dark Souls, when you die, you get put back at the bonfire. You can also sit at the bonfire to reset all the bad guys. That refills your Estus, which in this game also resets your reroll and your hero ability. So if we were to kill all the bad guys in this room, leave the room, sit by the fire, and come back, they'd all be there? Yes. Okay. So I'm... But we've only got four sits at the bonfire, so that would be pretty inefficient. Yeah, so let's not do that. I'm gonna. I'm not going to use that, because I, I want to save that for a little while. Okay. But I am going to use one of my stamina... To do the three attack. Okay. It takes three stamina. It takes three stamina? Yeah. Oh, oh my, I didn't even realize. Okay, maybe I will use that. <laughs> yeah. So, whoop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's, that's damage. That's, that's five damage. I think he, I think he's dead. I think, All maybe. Right. Solid. One down, one to go. It wasn't even the guy I was sneaking up on. It was the other one. Well, too bad. Oh, gosh. Okay. You dodged both of them. That's very true. So it is your turn. Okay. Well, I was in that time. So he's going to run away. I <laughs> I guess you can run away, too. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to try to shoot at me. One black match defense die. I got a two, which is nice. Take one damage. I also forgot to reset my stamina, but that's fine. <laughs> Can um, I just, should I just reset my stamina now? May as well do, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to take my walk and then one more stamina to so walk over So you essentially to get him. two free stamina per turn. Yes. Okay. But if you have the same situ situation I was in, That'd where I had all of my nine red, then I'm just in a real bad spot. Um, but yeah, I'm going to run over to him, use my four additional stamina to hit him for one black and one blue, all which right. is almost guaranteed to be lethal. I I believe. I I believe. Okay, two damage. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Does that mean it did nothing? No. no. Two damage means I killed him barely. I thought he had two health, didn't he? No, he has one health and one defense. Oh, okay. Solid. So, so have we defeated all the enemies in that room? We have, in fact, cleared this room. Nice. What does that we mean get, for us now? That means we get four souls. You get two per room clear per player all right i will i will go set those up oh you already did nice yep easy game so, so should we go back to the starting room to use our souls i think that's a great idea solid that's that's you sorry <laughs> okay so why don't you get us two fantastic pieces of loot that we can probably not use yet <laughs> it's really high hopes there right that's accurate. So there's there's one. I haven't even really looked at it yet. That shark gem could be pretty useful. So, what are, what are they? Okay. Sharp gem. What is that? What? It's a dexterity In, item? Yeah. 
Is it um, a is is it um, a weapon? Yep. So you see in let's go to yours. Um, so on the bottom right of your card here, there's this little circle mm -hmm. with a box in it that says zero. Well, that's your upgrade slots. Oh, you don't okay. Have any. So, so it's an upgrade for my item. Yes. If I if I were able to have any upgrade slots, which I have none right now. Yeah. You would also need enough dexterity, which for you is tier yeah. two. Yeah. All right. So this armor, uh, what? It it takes twelve, twelve, twelve. I don't think you can wield that. I don't think I can wield that. Are you sure? Yep. I am actually completely sure. <laughs> yeah, I have ten, fourteen, eleven, nine. Okay. Although I so, feel like it wouldn't take very much to get to the point where one of us could wear it if you think it would be useful. It would be a great side grade for you. It wouldn't be too much of a buff for me. It would actually be a downgrade from my physical defense. How much does it cost to upgrade one of your tiers? It's two, right? Yeah, it's two for the first from base to tier one, four from tier one to tier two, and six from tier two to tier three. Okay. Also, we sat at the bonfire. You, or we did not sit. We, we did, did not, not sit at the bonfire. We cleared the room. We cleared so we can room. remove all our stuff. Oh, do we remove everything when we clear a room? Yeah, all of your damage that you took and stuff. Okay, solid. Are, are we ready to move on, sir? No, I think that we should buy another two items to see if there's anything that would take not much to get. Because that still takes, I think, three upgrades for either of us to get. It is worth a shot. Let's do it. All right. Um, so are you ready? I think There's I'm number ready. one. That's that could be pretty good for me. Yeah. That could. That could actually be really good faith. for you. I need to put my faith in the light. <laughs> and then you're ready for this one. That is also basically that, but but worse. Could <laughs> could you wear this one right now though? Um, I think I need another faith buff, buff, buff. Well, that wouldn't be too hard to... Oh, I think I would also need one additional strength. Well, I am going to leave all of our items here for now. And then we can move on. Alright, let's go.